It's the eve of the biggest weekend of the year in the Quad Cities as hundreds are getting ready to paint the town green. News H Jenna Webster shares how two Davenport bars have been preparing for weeks. It's the calm before the storm of green at Kilkenny's. We'll probably make hundreds of them. Lots of these Irish car bombs. But it's a Guinness base with a shot of Jameson. Expected to be made Friday and Saturday as those feeling the luck of the Irish pack the bar in celebration. This, I mean, I would say hands down is the bar's biggest few days that we have as a whole. Kelly Moore is the bar manager. You know, I start thinking about it about the first of the year. Tables are sitting outside waiting to be set up and a pot of gold or many, many cases of beer will be delivered Friday while the rest of the bar is already stocked. We basically just kind of double what we would do roughly for a week. We are used to, you know, the parade and then the following week is St. Patrick's Day. Um, so it's kind of a whole new ball game for us. We're jam packing everything into Two days, essentially. Up the street at me and Billy, they're also ready to get the Guinness flowing. It's almost like an entire summer squashed into two days. It's, it's a big portion of our year. And a big portion of food. Well over 100 pounds of corned beef, probably another 100 pounds of cabbage, probably 150 to 200 pounds of potatoes. When the Quad Cities gets its Irish on. All dressed in green all happy, all having fun. It's a jam-packed weekend for these two bars, but a party like no other. It's really a fun day for everybody. The day goes by very fast for all of us. As these bars get ready for a sea of green in more ways than one. In Davenport, Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. Both Kilkenny's and me and Billy say a lot of their business will come from people watching the St. Patrick Society's Grand Parade on Saturday. The Bi-State Parade steps off at 1130 in Rock Island before making its way into Davenport.